is the Madagascan yeah, chameleon. This is a boy. Now the feet of the chameleon are few. The toes are fused into three toes and two toes. And they pinch onto the stick. One thing you might see is that the eyes, each eye moves independently. One eye can look at one thing and another eye can look now at another thing. Turn. And this way he can look at two things at the same time. That's very important if he wants to look at something to eat, but he also wants to look around to make sure nothing's going to eat him. Oh, there he goes. He likes to go very high. Uh -oh. You see? He's climbing on there. Look now these, the these lizards shoot their tongues out to catch insects. So that's how I feed them. I give them crickets and he'll shoot his tongue out and catch the cricket. So they can catch food as far away as eight or ten inches. This is an example of a very well adapted animal. And they have that flattened appearance like a leaf. And uh, there are many different species of chameleons inhabiting Africa and Madagascar mainly, but also Europe and India. Some of them are more towards the brown color, as you see here. But they change all different shades of brown and white and gray and many different colors. You know that chameleons change their colors to blend in with the surroundings. Get her. Now, they've never met before. This is a, we keep two pairs, two males and females. But this is a female from one cage and this is the male from the other cage. Oh, look oh. at it. Look at his behavior. Huh. He's getting interested. He's interested in that female. Is he looking at her? So each eye can move independently. This eye can look here and the other eye could look there. So by looking at one side, I don't know where the other eye is looking. All over the place. Oh, uh, yeah. You like that uh, female there? You can see that the tail is adapted for uh, grabbing branches. It's a prehensile tail. Each animal has their own individuality, their own consciousness, their own awareness. Their spirit is just as strong as my spirit or your spirit. Each animal has a very strong spirit. Many of these animals have their little pride, you know, their they don't like you doing things. Uh, they don't like you poking around with them unless they're used to you. They're very shy and cautious. And you have to deal with them just as you would deal with another person. You can't just shove them around. <laughs> Here he goes. Here. You can't just shove them around and throw them in a cage. You have to deal with them as if they're people. The American Indians used to call animals people. They would say the bear people, the wolf people, because they recognized that other species are, have just as much a right to be here on the earth as we do. They're just as much alive as we are and uh, just as much part of nature as we are. Watch what happens when I put the other boy right near him. Oh, you get that. Get off my tree. Thank you. Some of them have live babies and some of them have eggs. One of the females oh, have babies. One of the yeah, she has babies inside of her. She has some eggs and pretty soon she'll lay her eggs. One girl uh, already laid her eggs and we're going to see a tape of the girl uh, chameleon, the female, laying her eggs. You'll actually see them coming out. How do they come out? Well, they come out right at the base of the tail. How? There's a hole in the base of the tail and that's where the eggs come out. They actually squeeze the eggs out of their bodies. Now, let me show you the eggs that uh, the female gave birth to. The eggs are under the sphagnum moss, and I'm going to take them out so you can see them. And you can see the white eggs right there. 
each little egg there. She's laid. No, you can't really touch the eggs because you'll get the eggs dirty. And you put your sweat on the eggs and then they'll get uh, fungus on them and they won't grow up. They'll get mold on them. So what I do is I cover them with the moss like this and everything is very wet in here. And then I put a cover on it until they hatch out and become little baby chameleons. Now this is a very different type of chameleon. It's the Parsons. As you can see, it's more in the greenish range of color. And again, they have the opposable fingers where three fingers and two fingers are fused together and can grab onto branches. They have, as well, the independent eyes. Let's see if I can bring them towards you here. Yeah, you can see that the independent eyes where one eye can look one way and another eye can look another way. Just as we're learning now in our society to be tolerant towards other people who are different than us, we also need to learn to be tolerant towards animals which are different from us. And just as we wouldn't come into somebody's neighborhood and destroy it simply because they're different, it's not a good idea to destroy an animal's neighborhood, a habitat, because the Earth depends on all of its animals, all of its species. The planet we live on is a living planet. It's a female. She's a lot smaller than the other one we just had out. And you can see that there's a different color that she um, tends to stay, more of a green, yellow color. She gets even greener, too, a very bright green she'll become when she, she wants to. Yeah. This chameleon will eat about 15 to 20 crickets a day. The chameleons first came in, we had to give them medicine for worms and for internal parasites. We brought them to the vet and he determined that they had th this problem and we gave them the proper medicine for it. She feels very comfortable with people but she's very confused about the world. She doesn't really know why she's here in this greenhouse. She's used to being in the middle of the jungles. So we have to try to make them feel comfortable.